Hi and welcome Aries, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for April 2020. Now it is the general reading, so always trust yourself on what resonates. Leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own specific energy and questions you'd most like answered, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. There's also a coupon code running for April. You can get $10 off any of my personal readings. It's going to pop up over here in a sec. All you need to do is take it across the booking form, enter it when prompted to get your $10 off. It's case sensitive, yeah? Everything else you need to know, in the description box below. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, I love your support. I will just say that if you follow my channel and you haven't subscribed, YouTube recently changed their algorithm. So my videos may or may not show up in your feed depending on your preferences yet. So if you want to make sure you get them, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button so they come to you. And uh, I will just let you know that my video readings are also available in audio MP3 free download. Link's going to pop on this, pop up on this video. It takes less than a minute to uh, download them to your mobile phone, your favorite device. So you can also listen to them during the month. Yeah. Um, you only have to do that once and then I'll email them straight to you. All right, let's get started with your reading. And if you're wondering the sequence of how the readings are coming out, the videos with the highest number of views and likes come out first. And you're about sitting in the middle at the moment, Aries. All right, let's get started. Now, we are going to have a bit of a focus on life purpose as well as predictions and your general energies this for the uh, next two weeks. So we're going to open up your reading, Aries, with the uh, Blue Angel Oracle. And let's see what you need to know. Highest level guidance, thank you. Ah, beautiful. You've pulled a new earth transformation. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Aries, this oracle heralds the start of a positive transformation through which a part of you or a situation that's troubling you is cleansed and healed. There is a renewed sense of optimism. The future seems bright as you try new things and make new acquaintances and friends. This is a time to keep focused on what's occurring now. The past is behind you. Bless it and let it go. The present is all that matters. Watch for any lingering guilt and don't overanalyze things, especially the past. Know that you deserve happiness and it can only be found in the present. Embrace your new life. Let yourself go. You have nothing to lose but much to gain. And uh, there's a very beautiful affirmation here that says that you are eternally loved is the eternal truth. All else is an illusion. Feel the love within and around you in each new moment. Beautiful advice, I've got to say. Mm -hmm. All right, let's dive straight into your predictions with the angel tarot. And let's see what you need to know, Aries. The next two weeks coming up, whenever you're watching this, so first up, we're going to have a look at the uh, situation. All right, it's too here to want to come out. Mm. You've got the five of water, which is uh, things not turning out how you hoped, possibly not seeing the positive in the situation. Um, it does kind of say like crying over spilt milk. Um, it's also come out hand in hand with the awakening. Yeah, Archangel Gabriel, the need to look at things from a different perspective, to shift how you're looking at things, yeah? Mm -hmm. Possibly temporary delays going on as well. All right, let's have a look at anything challenging you right now. Mm. You pull the strength card, Archangel Ariel. It's all about relying on your inner strength. Um, the experiences you've gone through have made you really strong. It's also about applying forgiveness and compassion to situations, either for self or related to others. Yeah. Number 11, which also represents brand new beginnings. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Mm, wow, this is gorgeous. You got the six of fire, victories on its way. Yeah, possibly public recognition awards for the work that you've been doing. Um, speaks to all your hard work and discipline, yeah? All right, let's have a look at the recent past. Mm. You got the two of fire, more fire energy, yeah? Um, you've come into your own, you possibly may have had new business opportunities coming your way, partnerships coming your way. Um, mm -hmm. It says to continue to move forward. And if that energy hasn't come through, then it, it can also still be coming through. 
All right, let's have a look at the present. Mm, wow, there's a lot here to say that your hard work's paying off. So if things have felt a little bit stuck, they're about to become unstuck. you got the world here, Archangel Michael, yeah? A positive shift in energy forward, good fortunes on your side. Um, mm -hmm. Basically recognising the, the hard work that you've done, leading you more towards joy and contentment in your life. All right, let's have a look at the near future. Mm. You got the nine of air. If you have a look at this, is one horse sitting bolt up right where everyone else is asleep, yeah? Sleepless nights, expecting the worst, uh, worrying about things, yeah? Uh, that's about how you're looking at things. There's a clear message here to shift your perspective. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at your energy in the situation. Yeah. A lot of archangels coming out for you. Got Archangel Gabriel again, yeah. Uh, one of the strongest archangels in the universe, by the way. It's all about giving birth to your dreams, lavishing abundance on your dreams, going after what it is you want, having confidence and faith in yourself, your ideas, your projects. Also about nurturing yourself as well as others, mm -hmm. taking care of yourself. All right, let's have a look at the energy of others around you. Mm. You got the four of earth and it's about being too frivolous and too cautious with money, which could relate to your partner that you're with. Um, it could relate to self. Um, it does say making good business decisions, which means getting into your ra rational masculine energy, guy or girl. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Line out. Wow. Another archangel. You've got five archangels that come out for you. A lot of angelic support at this time. You've got Archangel Zadiki, all about balancing your emotions, your mindset, the need for cooperation, compromise, waiting for perfect timing, yeah? So you may be getting stressed and anxious and putting pressure on yourself about timelines when you need to release that and go with the flow because everything wants to come in for you. All right, let's have a look at the outcome. Mm. You've got the three of earth, which has been recognized as being a, a uh, team player for your high quality work and your creativity. There's a lot here to say that the efforts you're making are going to be rewarded and recognized. Mm -hmm. All right, we are going to have a look at your abundance flow. Anything holding you back from your abundance at this time with the uh, abundance angel oracle. Flying out, yeah, absolutely. It's always had wings, dare I say. Obstacles and blocks are being lifted off your path. So if things have been stuck, they're going to shift forward. Um, it could be quite quickly too, yeah, um, to open up your flow to your abundance. Feels like there's some worry and anxiousness going on, Aries, and universe group saying it doesn't need to be, yeah. You've also got the gratitude list, which is, Reminding yourself about what's happening in your life that's positive that you're grateful for versus on focusing on state of lack and things that aren't working, yeah? Again, it's about shifting your perspective. Mm. You've also got donations, making donations, doing some charitable work, which is giving back, right? When you give back, you tend to receive tenfold. Um, it also takes the focus off self as well as helping others. Let's pull one more. What else does Aries need to know? Hmm. You've also got the message to have the courage to ask for and accept help from others, particularly if you're going through anything financial at the moment, it's putting a bit of strain or stress on you, particularly with what's happening globally. You've got a lot of businesses that have had to close, a lot of people have lost jobs, things put on hold, pause, a lot of people work from home. Um, there's a lot of government agency support at this time. So if you need that help, reach out. Um, mm -hmm. It's also about asking your angels for help as well. All right. Let's have a look at life purpose. With the, the life purpose oracle, always trust your intuition on what resonates with you in terms of what comes out. Yeah, because everyone's got different divine gifts and talents. What does Aries need to know at this time? Mm. You got the message to um, research and study your options, particularly if you're thinking about doing something new or changing course. It doesn't actually mean going back to study, but it's about getting some clarity. Mm. 
Mm. You got the justice card. So for some of you, your life purpose includes the protecting the rights of others, and that can take many different forms. Yeah, bringing justice and balance and fairness to help others, which often means being in service. Mm. You got fa your family right in the center of your reading. Your family, your friends, they're very important to you. So whatever you choose to do, you need to balance the needs of family, the time that you have to spend with them, the balance, not the time you have to, the time you want to spend with them, right? As well as the demands of your work. Mm. And for some of you, there's something you need to let go of in terms of your job or your career in order to take up what it is that you want to take up, yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow, some of you have got divine gifts and talents in terms of your ancient wisdom. You can use some spiritual teaching, yeah? Your classes, your workshops, your seminars, your written word, your spoken word. I've been thinking about that, divine confirmation, yes. <laughs> uh, for some of you, there's a message coming through that the justice card can also represent protecting the mother earth and the environment right um, you've also got children here so this can relate to teaching children healing children in some way in terms of services that you provide in that area it could be psychology counseling um, connection to children art therapy all those kind of things mm. Some of you have absolutely got a book inside you to write. Yeah, the author card goes hand in hand with spiritual teaching, I've got to say. Um, if you've been thinking about a writing a book, perfect time to start one. Lots of options coming through. Love to hear what resonates with you in the comments box below. All right, we're going to have a look at your general energies. I'm going to pull your essential energy first from the uh, Ask an Angel Oracle. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Mm, beautiful. You've got Archangel Metatron, all about heaven and earth. Beautiful. She's surrounded by love hearts, by the way, and she's kind of entwined in this eternal tree that keeps going around her, yeah? Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Aries, heaven and earth, human and divine, the flesh and spirit. These polarities are often considered so different and yet one does not exist without the other. This, this is the truth that once integrated truly sets us free. What if we couldn't exist without God and God couldn't exist without us? What if we were God dreaming, God's experiencing itself for pleasure, movement and evolution? What if we're existing in the psyche of God, playing our roles using free will to the extent that we choose, yet operating within that greater sphere of energy? What could have the power to create revolution and evolution within this space? We would truly be co-creators with God when we connect to the idea that we're intricately linked to everything in existence. We become larger than ourselves. We become eternal. We become one with all who have come before us and all those who will follow. All things become reflections of ourselves and reflections of God simultaneously. I will just say that um, in terms of the context of this oracle, right? I'm not religious, right, but I'm spiritual. But it's really talking about that universal source energy, our connection to the angels, the divine, yeah, our soul lights, the higher consciousness. Once we realize that we exist in this state of oneness, we may begin to open up to the power and potential we hold in this space. Many civilizations have come and gone through the history of mankind. It seems inevitable that all things come in phases and what has flourished must one day perish and be born again into new form. Therefore, it's likely to occur again at some stage. No amount of action can prevent the sun from setting. So all that remains is the choice. We have to decide what role we play while we're here. Everything we do, think and believe affects the whole. Yet most of us walk blindly through life believing we have free will, yet choosing to act based on personal fears and limitations, family, social or cultural beliefs about what is and isn't the right thing to do. Or we act based on destructive beliefs or emotions, neuroses that we've developed through various influences or traumas that we may have experienced through our lives. 
When we act or attract from this place, the outcomes are generally mundane and predictable and not the product of free will, but rather the product of programming. The true use of free will occurs when we think and act from a place that is free and at one with the divine, holding the power and potential of all that is. It comes from understanding that the true potential that exists within every moment and the understanding that everything we do and think affects what will occur in our life and what we will experience in that turn will affect the whole of existence. When we integrate the idea of heaven and earth, the flesh and spirit, human and divine, although polarities are one, we have the power to affect and experience oneness with the whole. We will become conscious and awakened. Very beautiful message. I have to say most of the work that I do is based on this, right? It's about bringing people, people like you, right, into a state of wholeness, letting go of old patterning, old karmic things that you've grown up, witnessed, modelled, right, that affect how you show up in the world, how you operate within relationships, the choices you make in life, yeah? Um, what it's saying is about res being responsible for how you think and act and how that affects the things that you experience, yeah? It's such a super, super important message to come into this state of wholeness. Very beautiful areas. Mm -hmm. All right. In terms of your general energies, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Nature's Whispers Oracle and then pull you lots of clarifiers. So it can be challenges, opportunities coming your way, things about self you might need to work on. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Highest level guidance. Mm, gorgeous. You got these beautiful infinite blessings wanting to come into your life. How beautiful is that energy? Mm -hmm. Almost replicates the same colors that are in the heaven and earth card. Yeah. Mm. And some of you may be feeling emotionally vulnerable and sensitive at this time. The lunar cycles may also affect you. There's a lot of very pale, soft blues coming out in your reading, which is very, you're kind of very calm, I would have to say. Very gentle. All right, there's two here. Hmm. You got the message to seek beauty, which is pampering and nurturing yourself, looking after your soul, like nourishing your soul, yeah? It's number 44, which is a direct message from spirit. Um, I have to say I was seeing 44s everywhere yesterday. <laughs> it was like the angels were constantly with me. Mm -hmm. You've also got the message to be your best self always, which is standing in your integrity, living by your own values. Mm -hmm. Despite what's going on in the world, despite the energies of others, it's you just showing up in your best self. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'll pull you some clarifiers with the energy oracle. I have to say, this is whilst it's a I use this deck all the time. This is actually a brand new deck because of all the other one out. Yeah, um, it's the first time I'm using it for you guys and girls. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at your infinite blessings. What is it Aries needs to know? Hmm. You got this beautiful, happy family around you, gorgeous, caring connections, whatever family means to you. You're also going to have victory. So victory over challenges in the past. You've got infinite blessings coming into your life. Mm. You've also got the daughter romance opening. Again, an angelic number. Um, 33 represents either you being an ascended master or an ascended master trying to communicate with you. Mm. You got your coin coming in as well. Hello, girls. You got your coin coming in. Um, mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look at vulnerability. Mm. Angels are saying the sun's coming out. Everything's going to light up in your world. Your ideas, your projects being blessed. Beautiful shift in positive energy. Even if you're feeling emotionally vulnerable, spirit saying, lift yourself up, my darlings. It's all coming. Mm. 
There's a need for you to get into your higher states of consciousness. Connect in with your spiritual practices. Do your meditation, your yoga. Talk to spirit. Get out in nature and talk to spirit. Um, versus being in your lower chakras and getting stuck in your emotions. Yeah. And if you're trying to call in a soulmate, it's sitting directly under that. So please ask for what type of soulmate you'd like because you've got a direct door open to spirit to ask for what you want. <laughs> Mm. dare I say hello here's the door open for you right what a spirit opening they're asking you it's directly related to your coin as well guy or girl they're asking you to ask them for assistance for your abundance to come in for love to come in if you want it mm -hmm. all right let's have a look at seek beauty what is it Aries needs to know clear guidance thank you mm just need to watch your chi energy this is your solar plexus right so this is your vitality um if you're feeling emotionally vulnerable it can be affecting your energy levels so just watch that there's a need to build up your vitality clean energy food exercise if you can find a way to exercise and the all the uh, self-isolation we're going through right now mm -hmm. get yourself out side in nature if you can yeah you got deceit here. Now this could be self-deceit, right? Things you're saying to yourself that you're holding yourself stuck when everything wants to come in for you. But we'll see what other energies come out. Clear guidance for Aries, please. Mm. You got these beautiful caring connections in your life or wanting to come into your life. Directly related to the door to romance opening. Mm -hmm. Just watch that you're not deceiving yourself about um, relationships in your life and thinking that they're not something when in fact they are right mm -hmm. or dare I say there's a message coming through reacting emotionally with things that are external to the relationship projecting them onto fears around the connection mm. it's right next to that you got woman holding a heart yeah Again, 44. That's two 44s in the same row. Spirit talking directly to you. Open your heart up to love, girls. Spirit saying. Um, your coin is sitting directly under your coin coming in. Daughter spirit opening right next to these beautiful caring connections. Um, guys, this can be the connection that's trying to come into life or already in your life. Let's just pull you some guidance on this deceit. I have to say to you, it's the only negative card sitting here. Mm. Spirit saying, you are the magician in the mirror. You can create anything you want to create in your life, whether it's to do with your abundance, your family situation, love, and your energy, right? You have the power within to create beautiful transformation, change in life. Really, it's about just opening up to it because it's coming, Aries. It's coming. All right, let's have a look at the best self always. Mm. There's absolutely a need for you to seek balance in your life, emotional balance, physical balance, your well-being, your spirituality, yeah. Things you're saying to yourself. It's about grounding your energy, yeah. Because right next to that, you've got yin and yang, which is all about bringing yourself into a state of wholeness. Another angelic number, 22. Relates to taking a leap of faith, letting go of things. In the yin position, it's about an upright. It's about allowing yourself to receive, yeah. opening up to what the universe wants to give to you mm. and you've got a thinking man here which can be the love connection in your life girls guys this can represent you being more into your masculine energy your rational energy um, in terms of your emotions out of your emotions into your rational energy it can absolutely be a love connection You also got a contract coming in. A contract offer of some sort can be business related, job related, can be to do with settlement, sale of asset. Um, the thinking man can be the person bringing it to you. Mm. And you've got adjacent possibilities here, which means there's many doors that you can open. It's looking at things from a different perspective. Shift in your energy, knowing that there's absolutely different possibilities available to you in terms of 
work, career, life path. Um, anywhere you're feeling a little bit stuck that you're not in your positive mindset, Spirit's saying there's, there's different solutions available to you. All right, so some guidance with the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at this top row with your infinite blessings and everything beautiful wanting to happen to you or for you, your victory, all the doors opening. Mm, okay. You've got Isis, past life memories may be coming up, which is things from the past that you need to let go of. What was your opening energy? Let go of the past. Yeah, live in the present moment. Um, is affecting the now. Oh, Aries. Here it is. It's a true love wanting to come into your life. A divine, divine connection. It's up to you if you want to open up that door to romance because Spirit's saying it's open for you, my loves. If you want to open it, yeah. It can also be confirmation you're with your true love. You should know that in your heart space. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at vulnerability. The sun coming out. Spirit opening all the doors for you. Mm. They're saying just be strong at this time. Yeah, you're stronger than you think you are. It's going to assure you a happy outcome. Even if you're feeling vulnerable, they're saying rely on your strength. It's all coming. Mm. And you're absolutely divinely protected at this time. You and your loved ones, your guardian angels are watching over you. All right, let's have a look at seek beauty, your vitality, gorgeous caring connections in your life, being the magician in your own life. What is it Aries needs to know? Mm. They're saying, stop worrying. You've got a bright future ahead, Lakshmi. Yeah, um, Lakshmi. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at be your best self. Always being in balance. Allowing yourself to receive this contract coming in. Definitely coming in, Aries. Wait till you see it. You've got Asura Blossoming Abundance. You're just getting started. Do not give up. You're on the right path. Keep going. Come out hand in hand. With the golden opportunity coming in for you, important doors are opening for you. Have the faith, the confidence, the trust in self to accept those opportunities. It's coming, Aries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's put some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck. I'm smiling because you just got the most brilliant reading coming out, dare I say. Mm -hmm. Looking at this top row around all your blessings coming in. Your victory, your true love, <laughs> your queen. Mm. They're saying uh, you've got spirit quartz music here, which can really soothe your energies. Um, do some guided meditations, listen to music, dance to music in your lounge room, get that tush moving, free up your energy. It's quite a fun activity. You will not get a smile off your face when you do that. It kind of inspires me. I might do that tomorrow morning. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also going to link in the guided meditation playlist on my channel. Right? It's about nearly 80 in there now. Pick one. Pick one and listen to it, yeah? All you got to do with those, none of this cross-legged sitting stuff. Mm -mm. Lay down, relax, get warm, get comfy. Put it on a speaker if you can, through a speaker if you can, um, like a Bluetooth one, because you absorb the sound therapy, the binaural beats, and yeah, it goes deep to cellular level. Just relax and listen. If you fall asleep, it's fine. It will still work. Mm -hmm. That's how to do guided meditations. Mm. This is interesting. This came out when I was pre-shuffling. Yeah, hematite, a need to balance and ground your energies. Bring yourself into balance. Connect your feet to Mother Earth. Okay, let's have a look at your vulnerability. Spirit watching over you. Mm. Key message you've got is just to take action and keep moving forward, Labradorite. Whatever you're working on, keep working on it and move forward. Aries, oh my god. Oh, wait for it. Oh my god. Here's your blessings coming in. Look at this beautiful abundance. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Spirit's got your back right now. They certainly have. Okay, let's have a look at Seek Beauty, your vitality, caring connections. Yeah, you're absolutely coming into your own cold pie. Everything you've been doing is bringing you into this beautiful place where you're going to shine. You're going to shine. Okay, let's have a look at your golden opportunity happening over here. 
being your best self, always bring yourself into balance. Mm. Spirit's saying you need to have patience at this time. It's all happening. It's all coming. Mm. Have courage. Courage and strength. I'm going to put you on more. Yeah. And anything coming up for you is your shadow side of self. So it's about facing that, recognising that, being truthful with self that your shadow side's coming up. Yeah? Deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And then look at the positives in the situation. Okay. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, messenger oracle. I'm sorry, I can't get a smile off my face here, Aries. I'm delighted for you. I really am. Let's see what you need to know. I want to give a shout out actually to somebody super, super special. Her name's Jessica Robinson. I'm going to actually put her IG, her Instagram account, down in the description box below. It's what we call an Earth Angel. Doing amazing work around the globe in terms of environmentalism. And I know that she's an Aries. And I know that she's in the US at the moment. They're going through a massively hard time in the US. I know if you're in the US, you probably are too, yeah, with the COVID-19. And I just want to give a shout out to her and say she's doing an amazing job. And all of this reflects the abundance I told her was coming in for her and for you, yeah. So hi, Jessica. I know you're watching. Mm -hmm. You got the message to share your thoughts, which is the ideas, the projects, the things you've got in your heart space that you want to work on. It's sharing them with people that are very supportive and loving in your circle, not the naysayers. Yeah? When you share what you want to do with other people, it makes it real. It's not just a dream. Mm -hmm. All right, it's two here. Okay. You've also got observe in silence, which often relates to the energies of others. It means being vigilant around others in case that there's anything deceptive going on. I mean, you've got the deception card here, but I have to be honest, mostly it's related to self. Um, it just means an energy to watch out for. Um, you've also got let the emotions flow. So if you're feeling vulnerable, your shadow side's coming up, don't push those emotions down, release them. The best thing you can do is release them, get them out of your physical body. Otherwise, you just create, create stress and stress hormones, which are going to build up yeah you need to release the best way you can do that is also get your feet on mother earth mm. and you got the message to make the sacrifice do the work work on your ideas your projects keep taking action and pull you one more there's two here that want to come out yeah absolutely right through your reading is to know your fears face your fears um mm -hmm. we can often worry about a whole lot of stuff that's never going to happen and absolutely a time to ground and balance your energies all through your reading clear messages from spirit on how to cope at this time all right i'm going to pull you a crowning energy from the sacred rebels oracle which is a very practical hands-on advice what is it Aries needs to know at this time? Mm. You've got in the world, not of the world. Very beautiful message to this one. About being you, your unique self. Mm -hmm. Let me pull you up the guidance. And uh, if it's the first time you've watched one of my readings, the crowning energy tends to bring everything together. So stick around. It says Aries. It is safe for you to become naked with life. This doesn't mean necessarily stripping off and running wild in public. I should hope not. Nobody wants to see that. Mm -mm. It does mean stripping back your beliefs, your strongholds, and mental or emotional security blankets so that you can live with less obstruction than ever before. Imagine the conditioning that's kept life away from you, just kept it dropping out of your hands, like keys, coins, or clocks. Conditioned beliefs about money, Time, security, having, locking away, holding and controlling can be surrendered and allowed to fall away. What would it feel like if you're on holiday every day? Perhaps there would be a softening in your way with life, an implicit trust in its flow and faith in the ability of time to bend and stretch as needed so all may be accomplished. It is at an advanced stage of our spiritual relationship with life that we're able to feel held within it sufficiently enough to surrender our defences layer by layer and to nakedly accept what is. So this oracle comes with a message for you. 
Sometimes we need our defences and at other times it's clear we're outgrowing them. There is something you've outgrown. It has to do with your ideas about productivity, time, control and money. It has to do with abundance, trust and living with the fundamental belief that everything's going to turn out okay. You're ready to be much more vulnerable and exposed in life. You don't have to hide behind being organised, perfect, in control, financially secure and stable. Nor do you need any other acceptable social face. It's time for you to loosen the strings of your own controlling nature. They were too tight and too restrictive for you anyway. You were born to live in a much freer way. When you live as you innately are, rather than how you've been conditioned to be, you will experience greater joy, freedom and support. And when you're not resisting yourself or resisting life, there is less resisting what you need as it comes to you. And this message is that you are shedding. It might be an identity, it might be a status symbol, such as a car or a home, a suburb, could even be a socially admired relationship. You're shedding because no matter what the appearance of things, those old forms are too constrictive for you now. It's almost like your spirit was trying to walk around in shoes way too small for yourself and they were starting to pinch. The seams were ripping and eventually they'd fall apart altogether. Likewise, you're being stripped of internal beliefs that are failing you, perhaps externally as well. Whether this seems to be by choice or not, make no mistake. It's your own spirit in cahoots with the loving spirit of life that has brought this situation about. So you're being guided to trust, to not only rely on life, but also your inner knowing because at some level you get it. You understand and you know this is all freeing you. After letting go, there becomes a temporary emptiness that provides greater space for fulfillment to come forth. And um, there's a very brief healing ritual here to finish off your reading. It says Aries, imagine you are running naked into a sea, an ocean, a river, a waterfall. Be cleansed, feel it happening, be with it and enjoy the sensation of it. Feel freed of any weight that you no longer need, be it physical, emotional, mental or spiritual. Let go on all levels. And when you're ready, just open your eyes and rest for a few moments before going back to your day or evening you have finished your healing ritual. Very much correlates with your central energy that you pulled, yeah? Around um, heaven and earth, that conditioning. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, I hope you enjoyed this reading. So many beautiful blessings want to come to you. Open your arms to receive, open your heart to receive, match your vibration to it. Mm -hmm. ask spirit for what you want they're willing to give it to you right now they are so if you liked and enjoyed this please hit the subscribe button and uh, love to hear your comments your feedback i'm always in the chat box checking everything out and responding might take me a little while just be patient uh, grab a personal reading if you feel like you need some extra support this month don't forget to um, use that coupon code to get your discount off and if you'd like the mp3 audio file of this too you can download that Check out the links. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Take it easy. Take care. Stay safe. Mm -hmm. Much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.